one of the most surprising trends going on amongst teenagers today is of all things meditation. Teenagers are under more pressure today than in previous generations. This massive and overwhelming increase in stress and anxiety is believed to have caused this increase in teenage mental health disorders such as stress, anxiety, depression, feelings of being overwhelmed and, and inability to reach expectations, also feelings of being alone and also being a disappointment or a burden. Teenagers today, as well as teachers, that's my audience. For the past three years, I've surveyed my audiences and I've asked on a scale of one to 10, with one being low and 10 being high, I've said with high stress, low stress, one to 10, where are you? Would you believe the average person is between a seven and a nine? If you're between a seven and nine on a scale of one to 10, how present really are you? You're dealing with life, you're dealing with these emotions. You're not able to be focused on what is important and that is being present here, now, today. We can't control or change what happened yesterday. Tomorrow is only just a matter of hope. We can make tomorrow better by focusing on what is important now because tomorrow is nothing more than an extension of what today is. And so this high level of emotional distress, it's easy to think that maybe you're doing something wrong and that doesn't make it easy to focus on what's important, being present. Meditation, my friends. Research has been done suggesting that meditation has benefits for people of all ages, including improved focus, better test scores, it lowers blood pressure, helps with your heart rate, and it helps balance the immune system. Meditation is also proven to reduce stress and anxiety and even depression. But I want to give you a disclaimer here, please. Check with your doctor, talk to your parents, a counselor, a teacher, because with meditation, things might come up. And for some, it could be uncomfortable, especially trauma-stricken people. So very important that you're aware of that. Some of the other benefits of meditation increases attention and concentration. Meditation changes the brain in ways that protect against mental illness and improve control over one's emotions meaning you'll respond and not react. Another benefit to meditation is it increases compassion and empathy, kindness and love, and it improves sleep. Over time, studies have shown that meditation increases the gray matter. This is scientific. It increases the gray matter density in your brain, helping with memory, empathy, and decision-making. Meditation also dismantles the connections between the medial prefrontal cortex that's responsible for your perspective of yourself and the amygdala, which is where fear comes from. The brain then reconnects the amygdala to the lateral prefrontal cortex, which is what allows you to see the situation from a rational standpoint. Pretty good stuff, but science. Over time, when you become afraid or stressed, you'll stop assuming that maybe it's because of you and instead you'll be able to see a situation more clearly. And when you see situations more clearly, you're less likely to react. Along with the hard science of meditation, there's also numerous emotional benefits. All of the stress that you're having, my friends, I know it's not easy. I've gone through this. It takes energy and thought to constantly concern yourself with what may have happened yesterday or your past, and also this worry, this I'm overwhelmed about what the future might hold. And so when you have all the stress, it doesn't exactly leave space for you to be aware of right now here, because this is where you grow here. So meditation helps to teach you to stop, clear the mind and to just look at things as they are. We're not only helping to unload a lot of constant mental weight, but also better management of feelings, emotions, thoughts, and processing life. That's what we do here. So meditation helps to teach you to stop, clear the mind, and to just look at things as they are. 
We're not only helping to unload a lot of constant mental weight, but also better management of feelings, emotions, thoughts, and processing life. And so when it comes to depression, it's your ability to observe your own thoughts without judgment and recognize emotional triggers gives you more of a self-understanding. It can also help lessen deeper considered thoughts about something that is resting heavy on your heart and keeping you from getting caught up in this downward spiral that's hard to recover from. And so during meditation, the brain changes. It breaks down connections that it finds no longer useful, and it creates new ones that give you a clearer perspective. And over time, these connections are then strengthened. And so the ability for you to clear your mind and calm your emotions becomes even easier with meditation. And so as you continue through life, you'll have a clear perspective of the world and those around you a clearer perspective of these triggers that affect you. And everything will be unaltered by your own toxic thoughts. And so now you'll have a healthy way of thinking and seeing things. And you'll be able to make judgments and connections based on what you observe. And you'll also have a strengthened sense of empathy for other people. This provides a sense of calm confidence that comes with being in control of who you are. And so the benefits are many, many, with few, if any, if any drawbacks. So if you might be struggling with anything, my friends, I'm just saying it would be worth it to give it a try. For me, I got into it years ago when I was given less than a year to live. I was 350 pounds, diabetes, depressed. I was in therapy two, three times a week. Yoga became my last resort. And I started for flexibility and mobility. Little did I know that what yoga and meditation would do for my mind and my emotions, especially as a man that lives with mental illness. It was a total game changer. And today, the most important part of my day, my daily routine, is my meditation and my yoga practice. My friends, I know that you might find it difficult to sit, to breathe, and focus on being present. I understand. Your world, like mine, runs at such a fast, overwhelming pace. But we need to stop that. And I, myself, I need to try and keep up with the world, it seems. And maybe you, too. But I've come to learn that what are we keeping up with? The rat race that is killing people and, and bringing people more mental illness and concerns about their own health? My friends, this more than anything, is why I highly recommend you to give meditation a try. And, and here's the best thing about it. There's no bad practice. Start with a minute a day. Because as I get ready to end this, if you don't balance the mind, the body, and the soul, if you don't take care of yourself, you're going to find burnout and frustration. What matters in life is not so much what happens to us, but my friends, it's what happens in us.